wait, oh. So I read on a blog, I think some blog, that a man dumped his girlfriend because she snores. And then he couldn't stand it. I do not understand. Is snoring now a deal breaker? Hi guys, my name is Mercy Aigbe. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've missed you guys so much. So today we are talking deal breakers. What are deal breakers? Deal breakers are that trait, that attitude you cannot stand in your partner. I mean, that thing that you see and you're like, Whoa, me Oshimo, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm dumping your ass. So today I'm going to be discussing deal breakers. What are your deal breakers? I'm going to be discussing some points for men and women. So here are some deal breakers for men. A woman that talks too much. Shafishini. Auntie Elejo Wewe. Any small thing that happens in your relationship, whether good or bad, you go out and broadcast it. What is it? Some men cannot stand it. If your mom buys something for you, you rush and go and tell your friend, Oh, are they just bought me this? Oh, are they just bought me that? Oh, we're going on a trip to uh, whatever, Maldives. We're going on a trip to Switzerland. Oh, are they taking me to Paris for breakfast? Later you say they are doing you. Why won't they do you? It is your mouth that is doing you. <coughs> and say, Le jo we we. what is it? Elenu <coughs> woto woto. You talk too much. Some people, when they have issues with their boyfriend, the next thing they will tell third, third party is small. Fourth party, fifth party, tenth party, up to tenth party. You are still talking. You go, they cast your partner. Any small thing, you go out and start talking. Whether go, hey, he did this to me, he did that to me. The next thing, some, let me tell you, some, they've not even married the girlfriend though. Just because she's opportuned to have the guy's mother's number. Hey! I just said, Mama Barry, call you, go home. One day, Elijah Wewe. Hello, mommy. I caught him with a girl yesterday. I caught him with a girl the day before yesterday. And she's always reporting her boyfriend to his friends, his family members. You need to stop. Any small thing, the next thing, they are broadcasting, they are everywhere telling people. And then, social media is not even helping issues. Eh? Before you know it, someone that is uh, Olorioba, once she has one small quarrel with her boyfriend, she will turn to motivational speaker of her night in on her story. Men has come. Men are gonna come. And then if any of her friend calls her, she'll be like, she ni boboy. Go bye bye Oh, he did this to me, he did that to me, he did it. And then the other week, the guy that you have called Oloshi, that you have called scum, you they will still see you together and they'll be like oh he came to beg me you know it's a, please you need to stop you talk too much for some men a woman who doesn't like sex is a no when i say no i mean capital letter n o underlined quoted they just cannot stand a woman who is a log of wood auntie eturaka auntie what is it ah, ah. you're just there the man would try, 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 kiss, romance, lick, suck, and see him. Mm. Some, even if they now try to say, okay, let me moan. Just, uh -uh. Yes! Yes! Uh -uh. <laughs> what is it? Uh -uh. Learn! Learn how to give uncle those styles that will scatter his head. Because it is a deal breaker for men. Men enjoy s But when you're just there, you cannot do anything. And then later you say, Oh, I call Leo Koshidi Lemoe. You want to turn the man to. I don't even know what to say, really. So, a woman who does not enjoy s is a deal breaker for most men. Don't let me say some men. Most men. So, Auntie, up your game. Up your game. Learn how to make your man want you always, especially in bed. 
I mean, learn all the bedmatics. It is very important in a relationship. It is very, very important. In marriage, you cannot take sex out of a relationship. So it is a deal breaker when a woman does not enjoy sex for a man. A woman who doesn't add value is a deal breaker for most men. I mean, what do you bring to the table, girl? You gotta do something. What are you doing? I mean, it's, it's not just for the relationship, for yourself as a human being. Some women are just naturally unproductive. They just don't want to do anything. They want a man to carry all their responsibilities. And take it day. Do you want to kill him? He has family. He has, if you do for him, there is nothing bad in it. You are supposed to be partners. What, 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 is your, what is your contribution to the relationship? If uncle buys you Brazilian hair, buy him Gucci slippers now. Show him you're a boss lady. How do you do that? By investing in yourself and doing something tangible with your life. Stand up. Work. Do something. Nobody is saying that you cannot fly your man to Paris for breakfast. It doesn't have to be men, 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 doing everything all the time. You know, add value. When your man gives you 100,000 Naira, change it, turn it over to 1 million Naira, the man will be proud of you. Okay, so I remember I read a story online of a guy who was very sick and he couldn't work for, you know, a couple of years. And then he gave his girlfriend then some certain amount of money. And then this girl turned it over. After some years, she built an empire. Oh, well, that's a boss babe right there. That's a boss chick right there. That's my girl. That's my main girl. That's how you're supposed to be. Not a liability. No man wants a liability. So please add value to whatever relationship you're in because if you do not add value, it's a no for some guys. Some women are dirty. Ah! I don't know how your baby was I, I, I think I've forgotten how your baby was said. Some women are just dirty. Some girls are dirty. Even all these slave queens you see, some of these slave queens you see on social media are dirty. Ah! Men cannot stand dirty women. Oh, they just take care, they just take care of their outward appearance. Some. So they're even dirty inside. Yeah! They don't know how to clean. They be losing. Yeah! It is a deal breaker, auntie. Deal if I, more than deal breaker. So you need to smell nice. Invest in good perfumes. There are some perfumes that are not very expensive, but they smell really good. Because a man will get attracted to you when you smell nice. So it's not just all about you looking peng outwardly and then when the guy gets close to you, you are oozing. You are dirty. I mean, you're smelling. That's gross. You need to look good, smell good, take care of your home, take care of yourself. When you're washing, wash, 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 wash properly so everywhere is clean. You have to be clean all round her, inward, outward. Some ladies wear... Oh, geez. Some ladies wear their panties three days, they're still repeating the same pants. As long as they feel that they're looking fine outwardly, that's fine. No! And then the man gets there. Oh, this, this, your door. The man is going to run away. He will run away. No man can stand that. And some, they are just so lazy, dirty. They don't know how to clean the house. They cannot clean the house. Some! A friend of mine told me that. He actually left a girl because when she's taking over her pants, she will roll, 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 she will roll the pants. Anytime you use the restroom, clean, use water. It is very important. So men cannot just stand a lady that is dirty. When you go to your boyfriend's house, clean, make sure the environment is clean. And at least we all know that it's only good spirits that dwells in clean places. When, when the place is dirty, it's evil spirits that we deal. So learn how to clean your homes. Learn how to take care of your body. Not just outwardly, inward, everywhere. Some people will be, some, some women have body odor and they cannot do anything about it. Some, if they open their mouth, when they, you can imagine, 
a guy walks up to a lady, beautiful lady, maybe at a, a, an event or something. And he says, oh, babe, how are you? And the lady, hey, hey. Yeah! The odor that comes out from that lady's mouth is repulsive. And then the man takes off. Dirty women are deal breakers to men. So endeavor to be clean inside and outside. Hmm. Some women can nag, 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 some, some. When they are currently in a relationship, eh, they will still be referring to their ex and then they will be nagging. Maybe if their current boyfriend does something for them, they will be like, oh, when I was with Adebo Wale, you know, he used to take me to Keneko, Keneko. Why are you not still with him? It is a turn off for men. Every opportunity you guys have a conversation, you must bring your ex, his name, into that particular conversation. That means you are yet to get over that person. I mean, you're always comparing any small thing you compare. You always bring the name of your ex into a conversation. It is a deal breaker. If you keep doing that, it can actually make your current boyfriend very uncomfortable. And it, it might just get to a point and be like, no, I can't do this anymore. And then you're always comparing. Maybe, you're maybe you were dating one person that really had a lot of money and then you're dating this person that is trying. And then all you do, when even when this guy tries his best, all you do is nag and still compare him to whoever you left. Go and meet the person because apparently you're still living in your past. So when you are always, always talking about your ex, you're always bringing up your ex, you're always comparing your current boyfriend to your ex, it is a deal breaker for men. Because no man wants to feel, feel unwanted. Because when you keep going on about your ex, the man is going to get to a point that he would feel like you do not appreciate him for who he is. Some women just nag and nag and nag. They are so unappreciative. There's nothing. In fact, not some, a lot of women, yes, some. No, a lot of women. Yes. Sisters, come over here, I'm talking to you. Hmm? They are so unappreciative. There is nothing a man does for them. They will still complain. Hey, Kiloshi, what did you do? Uh, is it not just uh, because you just gave me 500,000 for me to go and uh, shop? Is that, my sister, times are hard. 500,000 is not just just. In fact, 100,000 is not just. In fact, 20,000 is not just. In fact, 10,000 is not just. Appreciate whatever your partner does for you because it is not easy. We all know that it's not easy. So please stop nagging, stop complaining. You know, try and even if your partner does something for you, in fact, just praise the person even out of proportion because the truth is that even God, when God does something for us, He expects a thank you because when you say thank you, you get more. You'll be amazed at people's deal breakers. I read online also one time back when a lady said that she had to leave her boyfriend because he presses the toothpaste from the middle. And she's like, that thing pisses her off. And she has been telling him, but he still does it repeatedly. That he's supposed to be pressing toothpaste from the bottom. And then when I read, I was like, ah, ah. oh, Gafa, when you're, which one is pressing toothpaste from the bottom and the middle? So you'll be amazed at what people's deal breakers are in a relationship. What are your deal breakers? I want to know. I want to read from you. So drop it in the comment section. Thank you for joining my YouTube channel today. Don't forget to drop your deal breakers in the comment section. I can't wait. I'm really excited to read from you. Please subscribe, like, share this video. I love you. I remain yours. Mercy, Aigbe, aka Ayadiona. Ay,